I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales here in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at our 2023 31 FKRK Puma Travel Trailer by Palomino. This is a two slide front kitchen model with a true bed slide in the back. Uh, we're going to look at the inside of this unit first. As you can see, there are two entry points to this unit. The main one is here into the living room area. We're going to use that. That rear one's to the bedroom. But 31 FKRK, that is the specific floor plan that we're going to be looking at. So when you enter in, you're right in here in the living room area is a front kitchen i'm gonna zoom out here's a front kitchen so to the right is gonna be our kitchen area we're gonna start up there at the front so this is a general look of the entire thing uh we love the big window in this unit at the front and that big countertop that's kind of the focal point um, of the floor plan so a lot of countertop space and a lot of storage it did a good job with accent lighting under the counter and underneath that a uh, little piece of fascia up there at the top so a lot of, of cabinets as well i think they did a good job with the glass inserts here it just looks good uh, and that big window, of course, at the front really sets it off as well. But a lot of countertop space. You got that whole level there. You got the level here to the right with the glass top stove cover. That's all usable as well. It's one surface. Um, big sink, pull out faucet here. Um, lots of outlets. There's an outlet set to the left. There's an outlet set to the right as well. More storage uh, there. And then we have a microwave above, stove hood, tile backsplash and then the stove and oven. So a lot of products have gone away from an oven, but they still do an oven. And a three burner stove uh, with a sparker for all three eyes and the oven. Uh, some of these storage compartments I'll just open just to show you. Um, this is here at the front. People a lot of times like to see how much there is. So that's all you can see. That's all storage. It's really nice. Um, nice amount of storage there. There's a pantry we'll see in a second. Big fridge, 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. Uh, pretty much everything, man, everything we sell just about to go into this style fridge of a 12 volt. So quicker, um, less expensive than a gas electric, and there's no gas or 110 to deal with, just all 12 volts. So 10.7 cubic feet and fits the same footprint as old gas electrics. Uh, they are here to stay. So more storage down there, more storage below as well. And you can see there's just, that. that's a really big one there. So you also have a pantry, as if all that wasn't enough. Uh, I like their pantry shelves. They put a lip on it so stuff can't fall off to the front. But you can see, I'll step back. That's a really good size pantry. Um, floor to ceiling storage. Really good job executing that. Uh, booth over here for our seating. Does make a bed if you need it. You've got storage access below. As you can see below both cushions, there are cabinet doors. Sometimes we don't have that on products, and uh, that's annoying because you have to take the booth cushions up and that piece of uh, wood, but not with those. Easy to access it. Uh, the big windows, especially the one at the booth, they put roller shades on all these, night shades, and then accent light above as well. So the living room, uh, we go, we've got two seating areas, so three seating areas total. You got the trifold sofa that we optioned in back there, so that makes a great bed, um, all things considered, uh, for guests uh, versus like a futon bed, jackknife sofa, or the booth. So that's a nice addition there. Then we also optioned in theater seats here versus a traditional jackknife sofa. Just because, honestly, we typically have a couple buy this that maybe as grandkids go and they generally like having the theater seats versus the really, really stiff uh, jackknife sofa. They're right across from a TV too, so it's a good line of sight for watching TV. It just makes sense given the floor plan. We put a TV in all of ours as well, 39 inch uh, TV there, sound bar, great shelf below for storage, and then a fireplace as well with a little nook below for pet bowls or maybe you throw some shoes under there, whatever you want to do. Uh, the slide itself, notice it's a flush floor slide. There is no step up. What I'm talking about is right here. Sometimes we have a, a unit, other brands we sell against, or sometimes we even sell, have a, a step up. This is not the case. It's a flush floor, flush floor slide. There's no step. Um, it's a full depth, three foot deep slide. This is a big slide, um, and it's long, as you can see. This is not a short one. So you get a lot of space here. The same with the bed slide, the principles applies. It's a rack and pinion, three foot deep slide. So we like that feature. Um, that's something that sometimes goes unseen, especially if you're new to the industry and you're not sure the different types. Uh, window there at the sofa, and then a control panel here on this wall as you enter in with the monitor panel, light switches, slide, and awning switches as well. Two airs on this unit. The one ducted air is here, um, ducted throughout the unit. There's a second free blow air um, in the bedroom, which we'll see in a second. Nice big window in the hallway just to break up this wall. Plus, it's, it's for a good view. Across from that is going to be your bathroom. A little different bathroom than the traditional Puma setup. Um, nice linen closet here um, because it's a different configuration. So a lot of storage there. Uh, the classic big glass shower doors, full plastic surround, some shelving built into it. Nice big skylight as well. 
A medicine cabinet with storage in it. Sink with storage below that. Foot flush toilet also. And then a, there is a vent and skylight in here as well. We'll go back out and now we're going back to the master bedroom. So big bed slide in here. This is a very spacious bedroom. As you can see, this is a king bed. Um, notice the amount of space at the foot of the bed. There's even space at the side of the bed so you can get in and out and make the bed. Uh, so again, king bed, there's storage below. We have outlets on both sides. A uh, little end tables there, as you can see, are shelving above. Uh, more shelving above as, as far as cabinets there, window at the head of the bed. And then, of course, the wall of storage along the back is awesome. We've got traditional style closet over here with a shelf and hanging rod. Uh, one more door over there as well. So traditional closet for hanging clothes and the shelf above. And then this closet is a washer dryer stack prep closet, or you can just use it as another closet, you know, if you don't want a washer dryer. But that gives you an idea of how big this closet is. Uh, you could put a stack washer dryer in here. And more storage at the foot of the bed as well uh, with a TV hookup on the wall there. Again, there's a second air here. This is a free blow air in this in this uh, room. But if you don't want to run two airs, you know, you got AC drops in here from the, the front ducted air. So just however you want to operate that. And then a second entry, which is nice, uh, just going right outside from your uh, master suite. So that is the inside of the unit. I think that covers it. Let's go outside, take a look at some stuff on the exterior. All right, so out here, the step above steps, which I like uh, by Moride. Uh, the awning does cover both entry doors, which I like. It's a big electric awning with a big LED light strip in it. Outside speakers, you can see those there. Uh, this does have a little mini outside kitchen. They call it the micro. Uh, Puma has several different versions of outside kitchens, but uh, you got a refrigerator. You've got a griddle that pulls out as well. And there's a little LP quick connect down there. Also, they put a spray port right next to it. If I could open a spray port, so you do have water here as well. So a little mini outside kitchen area there. Uh, extended season package on this unit so you can see the different options that has there most notably an enclosed underbelly uh, with heat down in that tinted windows uh, windows in the entry doors as you can see versus just solid entry doors all electric stab jacks and electric tongue jack as well spare tire on the back already mounted 50 amp service or you can do like we're doing right now and be on 30 amp with an adapter ladder on the back these are those rack and pinion slides i was talking about Man, they're easy to operate, easy to work on too if you have to. This is a termination point for the rear tank for the washer. Most of y'all probably aren't gonna end up using that. Uh, you're gonna be working with these up here. So that's your black and gray for your bath. And then you've got one up there for the front kitchen tank as well. So that's your termination points. Uh, outside shower, city water connection and black tank flush all located here. One of the things I love about Puma is the way they build their product. They silicone uh, like crazy around the windows around our compartment door frames, our slide frames, uh, one, no, it's notably probably our corners. Most products, if you start looking, are simply using putty or foam. Uh, I just don't think that's a long-term solution. Uh, I think that's a, a, a cheap way to do it. So they take the time to look on everything uh, from the factory. So two LP bottles in the front. There's that nice big windshield on the front as well. Electric tongue jack, uh, dual gas electric water heater. I think I did mention that earlier. All right, so 2023 32R, uh, 31 FKRK uh, Puma Travel Trailer by Palomino, two-slide model. The link in the description will take you to our website with more tech specs, photos, pricing, uh, contact information, whatever you want there. Or you can call or text our family at 270-247-8187. I'm Colin Fitzgerald. Thanks again for watching Arrowhead Campers' YouTube channel.